y'all. Welcome back. Number eight says Richard bought three slices of cheese pizza, two so and two sodas for eight seventy five. Jordan bought two slices of cheese pizza and four sodas for eight dollars fifty cents. How much would an order of one slice of cheese pizza and three sodas cost? Okay, this is a pretty tricky problem. This might be the hardest one on here. Uh, we'll see if they would get any harder than this. But um, what we need to do here is write an equation for uh, everything that Richard bought, and then write an equation for everything Jordan bought. Use that system of equations to figure out what the cost per cheese pizza and cost per soda are. Um, and then we can answer the question. So for Richard, um, maybe I'll label this to make it a little bit clearer where I'm coming up with this. We have three slices of cheese pizza, so I'm going to call that 3C plus 2S, so three, or maybe I'll use P instead. So three pieces of pizza, two sodas, uh, and that's going to equal 875. Then for Jordan, we have two slices of pizza and four sodas for $8.50. So this is a system of equations, and there, there are several ways to be able to solve this. But I think what I want to do is use substitution here. I'm going to try to isolate this S in the first equation so that I can use that equation and plug it into the second one. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, solve for S here. The first thing to do, solve for S, let me just go ahead and maybe rewrite this a little smaller here. All right, I'm going to subtract. 3p from both sides. Okay, that's going to give me 2s equals negative 3p, or maybe to make it simpler, 875 minus, oh, minus 3p. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. This is going to give me some pretty ugly decimals, but this is just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, so dividing both sides by 2, I'm going to break out the calculator here. You do get a basic four-function calculator on this one. That's why it says basic. Um, this has nothing to do with the difficulty of the question. It just means you don't need a graphing calculator uh, to do this one. We need to do 875 divided by 2. That's 4.375. And then 3 divided by 2 would be 3 halves. But since we're working with decimals here, I'm going to go with 1.5. And your calculator can verify that for you. So now that I have an equation for S, where S is isolated, now what I can do is I can take this expression for S and substitute it into S for the other equation. Then what I'll have is just a single equation that I can solve. All right. I'm going to rewrite this equation 2p plus 4, and then instead of s, I'm going to write 4.375 minus 1.5p, which is the expression that we just said equaled s, equals 850. And what I can do here is I'm going to solve this equation for p. Okay, I'll go through my normal solving steps. It'll take a few steps, but we'll get there. And then once we figure out the cost per pizza, we could plug that in here and figure out the cost for the soda. Okay, you could actually use any of these equations that we had over here, but this one in particular has the S already isolated, but then we would just have to type this into the calculator. This is going to be definitely preferable. All right, so here I'm going to distribute the 4. Again, using a calculator, especially with all these decimals, would be advisable. All right, so 4 times 4.375 is going to be 17.5. And then 4 times 1.5 is going to be 6. So that would be minus 6p. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, so now we need to, now that we've used the distributive property, we're going to combine our like terms. It means we are going to combine 2p and negative 6p to get negative 4p.
Then we're going to subtract 17.5 from both sides. That's going to be negative 4p equals, and I'm going to check this in the calculator, 8.5 minus 17.5, negative 9. And then dividing that by negative 4, going to give me $2.25. So now we at least know part of our answer here. Okay, We know that the uh, pizza, the cheese pizza, costs $2.25. The per slice, I don't think it really, yeah, per slice. All right, now that we have the cost for the cheese pizza, we can find out the cost for the soda. So I'm going to take this number, just found, right here, this is P. I'm going to, again, substitute. That's why the name of this technique is called substitution, by the way, because you substitute twice. Plug it in here, and we'll get our S value, which is the cost of a soda. So S is going to equal 4.375. Minus 1.5 times 2.25, and let me bring that over so you can see, actually see it. Um, let's just maybe scroll down a little bit further. All right. And, yeah, we'll just need to put that in the calculator. Let's go ahead and do that. 4.375 minus 1.5 times 2.25. All right. Something didn't go right here. Let's see here. 1.5 times 2.25. Okay. So we have that's 3.375. So, yeah, so 4 minus 3 would be 1. Okay, so the sodas are a dollar. All right, so let's go back to our conclusions here. The cheese pizza costs $2.25 a slice. Sodas cost $1 on the... Uh, Exactly per soda, I guess. Uh, yeah, per soda. All right, so the question is, how much would an order be with one cheese pizza and three sodas? Okay, so we'd have, change colors here just to kind of differentiate what we're doing here. Uh, one slice of cheese pizza and three sodas equals what? Okay. So we know that the cheese pizza costs 225. So 225 times one is just gonna be 225. And then three dollars per soda is gonna be plus three. So that's gonna equal five dollars and twenty-five cents, which is gonna be choice B. All right. I told y'all we we're gonna have a hard one. So that there you go. There's the hardest one, I think, on here, at least so far. Um, and that's it for number eight. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.